Hello, you are welcome to a new tutorial series. So today I'm going to show you how you can create a DAX function for your slicers in Power BI. So I'm going to show you how you can use a DAX function to undo any of your slicer of which you created with any of your data. So I'm going to put you through how you can go around that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the data. Um, not, um, I have one of the free data online that I downloaded, which is a financial data. So I'm going to show you what the data looks like. So before we create a slicer, I will use dance function to handle it. So now let me, um, okay, let me open my visualization tab. Let me click on the table. Okay. So let me put in the products. Let me take the value field. Okay, so these are products. So I'm going to take the discount band. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you the kinds of products that fall under the high, low, medium, under the discount band. So I'm going to use a count for each of these um, products to find each of them that has high, low, and medium. And as well, I'm going to check the segments. And okay, let me check which other field we can make use of again. Yeah, I think we should just go with that. So we have the segment and we have the discount bar. So and the thing that we just want to do is just to show us how we can use tax function just to undo any of our slicers. So possibly you create a slicer. So I'll just put you through how you can go around that. So let me just close this. So we move to the home. You enjoy you select home which is the home tab, then you go to the transform data tab and click on transform data. Okay, so here is where I'm going to transform my data. So this is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make a duplicate of this data. So let me rename this as new financial. I already need to rename it as new financial. So mind you, remember I mentioned the columns I need, which is the segment, and I as well need the discount band. So this is just the two um, column that I need to make use of. I don't need the products column. So these other columns, I'm going to delete them. So I think, let me remove, let me do it like this to make it faster. Let me just select segments and discount band. So I'm going to remove other columns. Uh, okay, but I need the index. Let me add the index back. Okay, let's move it. Okay, so because this index is what we're going to use to create a relationship with this financial data that is with this other data that we have there. So I make sure the index is there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select on this segment and this kind of band. I'm going to select on the two. Then let me go down to the home. Let me click on transform. So I'm going to click on the on pivot column. So let me click on the on pivot column. That is, we want to create an on pivot for this particular segment and this kind of band. So you can see we have attributes and value. So now that's just what we want to do. So let's go back to home. I will click on close and apply. So it's saving um, what we just did now. Okay. So what we need to do next is we go down to this model where we have the relationship part. So we double click on it. So we ensure we select both. That is that both has to be there. We need to select. That is just to tell us like Boxes is both data. So I think let me go back. Let me check again if that has been done. So now let's move back to our reports tab now. So what we need to do now is let's create a slicer. So I'm going to click on the data that I just um I just created now. That is those field we created now. 
So let's drop this slicer. So we are going to take the attributes. This attribute has the both field that we need, which is the discount band and the segments. So let me just put it right here. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to get the counts of the product, right? Of both the discount band and the segment. So I'm going to create a DAX function to undo that. So but before I go right into that, okay, let me create the DAX function from here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my table that is the duplicated table and I click on new measure. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. I have a copy of it here. So we'll just do, uh, let me double click on this. We need to click on it since I didn't, didn't put any data inside. So new measure once again. So just um, click on that. So what we need to do is we're going to use the if and the if cross filter um, filtered. This is usually used in slicers. That is when you create a slicers, you make reference to your table and then you make reference to each of the column. So these attributes are the field that we have inside um both the segment and the discount band so what i'm going to click here is i'm going to take my data which i'm going to take new so you can see when i type it's already bringing it out so new financial then the attribute so here as well i do same thing new financial then attribute so now what i'm going to do is under the discount band i'm going to get a count of the products and as well for the segment i'm going to do so this is um, this financial is our earlier first table, and whereby the under the segments here is also our earlier first table. So it's the same thing. So this is the earlier first table. So we are getting a count of the products, and for same thing for segments. So whenever we click on segment, it gets a count of all those products that fall into the discount to this particular, uh, particular category of the discount band, and as well for the segment. So I'm going to save this now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop the table. So let me drop the table and then I'm going to take the values. I'm going to put the values inside. So I'm going to take the values and drop it inside. So this particular, okay, this particular value, I'm going to click on the discount band. So you can see I already selected the discount band. So let me carry the slicer to the value column as well. So you can see the slicer is just telling me like a count of the products that fall into high, count of the product that fall into low, medium, and those that are known. So we can represent this as a stack back chart. I click on the bar chart, something like that. So when I click on the segment as well, so it's going to give me this. Let me click on the table. So, so I, I click on something else. So let me click on this table. Yes. Okay. So let's go back. Already click on something. So Yes, we have the slider back. So I should click on the table back just to get the data. So those are the data for this. So this is just a simple demo on how you can go around this. So assuming I want to make this data to be more further, like um, do different stuff. Maybe I want to compare different columns and all, so I can go more deep into this. So I hope you're able to understand how you can create a DAX function that is using any of your slicer that you created. So, and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please give us a thumbs up and, and as well, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for listening.